So that you can live in our castle forever. So you shall wed my son and live here forever. Immediately she, her heart sank. And her brother was very close to her. So he whispered into her ears and said, Don't react to anything now. Just say okay. Don't show any movements on your face. So she said, Yes, your highness. So when shall the wedding feast be? That it will be tomorrow night. Only after night they have the celebration. So tomorrow night in the garden we will have the wedding feast. So you will get engaged so that you can get married. Right? 
So then they asked him, Now, he said, you can go and rest in your palace. Now the brother and the sister, they cannot go together. He tells the daughter to go to this palace and the brother to go to that, that, that palace. palace. The brother says, I'll find a way. Go and sit near the window in the palace. Okay, so she goes running and she sits near the window. 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 She waits the whole day and a little bird comes to the window. The bird comes and says, tomorrow night, your brother will be waiting on a white horse near the gate. As soon as the wedding feast is over, put on your beggar's cloak and escape. I don't know where the road to the gate is. So the bird says, there will be a white cat. It will come and lead you to the gate. Okay. So how can you talk? says, well, I can't talk because your brother knows the language of the birds, birds. and their animals. You remember he has yes, So he knows the language, so he taught us how to talk. So now I can tell you, I can I talk. So the is very happy. Now next day night is a big wedding Ceremony. feast. And in this wedding feast, everyone is very happy. The prince is happy, the king is happy to have a nice drink and everything. Yes, right. And you remember the trees that they met on the way? The yes. trees say, don't worry. The spirit of the gate says, we won't open the gates to your enemies. The, the, uh, the tree says, I'll put all my fruits on the way so that all the horses will slip Sleep. and fall. So she put all the fruits on the way so that they slipped and they fell. And nobody could come and capture the prince and his Sister. Sister. And they rushed back. Within three days, they were back in their house. Yes. In the castle. So he quickly entered the castle and the son went quickly and told, whispered into that stone, here. So what did he whisper? A nice little magic word. Salikadula, manchikabula, abracadabra. And what happened? His father, father, came, his father came. came alive. And when the father came alive, they were very, very happy. happy. And so they lived very happily ever uh -huh. after. Now what happened to that girl who was in yeah. She is the one who ran away with their brother, no? Both of them came back. Oh, she is not getting no, married. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Nice job. All the genies and everything coming out. And usually in Arabian fairy tales, it's a lot of adventure. For instance, if you know Sinbad. Yes, yes I am. I'm Sinbad. You know, there's a value of diamonds, there's a value of emeralds. I'm Sinbad the sailor. And how that rock bird comes and he sticks, you know, all the gems stick to it, the rock and how they escape from the valley. So it's really, really, we all like fantasy very much. No? Yes. So this is also a fantasy story. It is from the Arabian fairy tales. Okay? And usually all Arabian fairy tales were told every night. Do you know that? Every night the sheikh or the king was told a story every night because they did not he did not want to go to sleep. I don't know if you know why the Arabian fairy tales came up. It's because there was a kind of uh, uh, wish that if he went to sleep then the kingdom would be diminished. Yeah. So the king had to stay awake for 1,001 nights. So every night, the courtiers or the, the like Akbar and Birbal, no? there was a person who told him a story every night. So these nights had to be long. That's why if you see, the Arabian fairy tales are long stories. They're not short stories. They're all very long, long stories. stories. And how do you keep someone awake? It is only through a lot of Excitement, exactly. So it had to be very exciting. So it was packed with excitement, fantasy, magic, everything. Right? So that's how the Arabian fairy tales came. To. And then it's written something like 3rd century or 4th century BC, which means how many years it has come through. And today also we are able to read the stories, isn't it? Yes. Even today it is appealing for us. There are many things like that. For instance, if you see Laurel and Hardy. Um, why don't we just sit down? It's easier for me to address everyone. Okay. What I have got right now is what is known as the abridged version. Abridged means not original. If you see Shakespeare and many of the classics which were written, you know, they were all written 
such big, big volumes. But what we are getting to read today, we cannot read, thou art thee, thou shall not depend upon this earth and all, we can't understand. So what they have done is, they have made it into simple English, and they have given it to us as simple language, right? So the same way, this Arabian tales also had lot of poems, lot of couplets, like you have shairi, you know, now, ghazals, all this came from Arabia. See, from the Arabian people, the Persian language itself, Hindi has come only from the Persian script. The Persian language is Urdu, right? From the Urdu script only we got the Hindi script. So it has a lot of richness. So Arabia means a lot of things like the Arabia. So Persia was supposed to be one of the most prosperous countries in our year time. What happened is, when Persia was very prosperous and they decided to invade the other land, that's when all the problems started. Okay? Okay. So this is one of the stories. Uh, uh, a dance.
because the forest was very quiet. And he said, Thank 
accounting. You don't know any accounting. <laughs> Better go to some school. Oh, I don't want to go to school. I, I, I know how to count. It's one, it's one, it's one, it's one, it's one, it's one three, five, seven, nine, eleven, ha, 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 one million. Ha, 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 two million, oh, two million. Oh, I think this guy drive me nuts. There are two Get million spots in your body. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, this guy will drive me nuts. I'm going to go mad. You can't count for the nuts. And just when they heard the sound nuts, who do you think came along? Squirrel. Yeah. The squirrel came and he said, Did you say nuts? Huh? Did you say nuts? Well, I said nuts. The monkey will drive me nuts. Hmm, but I understand that. Uh, let me see. What do you want? You want some nuts? No. I want you to count the spots on my body. Count the spots in your body? Yes, that's right. Oh, but I'm so scared. I'm so scared to climb and count the spots on your body. Oh, don't worry. I'm just being friendly. I want you to count the spots on my body. Can you do it? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Uh, I can't count the spots on your body. Oh, don't do anything to me because I have to eat my nuts now. Uh, I have to eat right from my body. Just another fool in this forest. Oh, get off! And so the squirrel went away into the forest. I must find someone who can count. Nobody seems to be knowing how to count here. Let me see if there is anybody coming along. Ah, I hear some noise. And so the leopard went on his way. And he was feeling very sad because it was nearly getting evening. And so he went away. And then in the evening, who do you think came to drink water? Oh, here is a baby elephant coming in the way. Hey, stop! You know who I am? Okay, don't be afraid. Can you count? Count? Count what? Can you count the spots on my body? Oh, I can't count anything. Because I don't have anything on my body. And my mommy did not teach me how to count. Oh, that is a silly answer. Can you count? Let me drink some water and let you know whether I can count. Alright? Okay, I'll wait. So the elephant went to drink some water. And just as he drank the water and gave himself a good bath, he saw the leopard again. Ah, oh, I forgot. I am so sorry. I cannot count anything now. I want to go for a night. Baby elephant walk. Huh? So give me wait. Let me go. Okay, go along. Mm. Just one of those fools. It is getting dark. And so it got very dark. Did the leopard find an answer? No. He was feeling very sad because nobody could count the spots on his body. And it became late in the night. And 
cannot find any. He he, I am the bird and my name is the Tweety Bird. Hey, and what's if that I am the Tweety Bird, I can go and pick something from the tree. Oh, and I the can Tweety hear Bird. A sound and sing. Hey, Tweety Bird. Hey, Tweety Bird. Hey, Tweety Bird. Come here. What do you want? Can you do me a favor? What favor? Can you count the spots on my body? Count the spots on your body? Hey, yeah. I got better work to do than I've count the spots. I've been running up and down in the jungle. Nobody seems to know how to count here. <laughs> Can you count? I think I I I I I I try because my mommy didn't teach me any counting. You see, I am not been going to a school. Only my mommy teaches me one two three, 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 one two three. So is that okay for you? Ah, oh, I don't people think. don't count like that. How do they count it? They count well. Uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, that's why I am asking. Oh, then I can eat it. Uh, I can tell you the answer right away. You have one, two, three spots in your body. See, see, see. You have only three spots on your body. Ah, I'll find someone else. And so the bird also went away. And the leopard was feeling very sad. It was unsuccessful. The morning had gone away. Oh, I'm tired of all these things. What is this? Nobody seems to know how to come here. And I'll drink some more water. I'm feeling thirsty. And who did he see then? Rakshak. Or if you come back. Or if you move back. Oh, Tortoise. Tortoise seems to be knowing counting. Let me ask him. Hey, Tortoise. Come here. Could you count the spots on my body? Come back. The spots on your body? Come back. I can't even count and see my own shell. How can I count the spots in your body? I'm so short. I can't climb up. Okay, go away. Go away. Just don't irritate me now. Oh, I'm not irritating him. I don't know why he feels that I'm irritating him. I can't find out what's the matter with that stupid leopard. Why does he want to count the spots on his body? Ah, I should go to some animal of my size, so she will know how to come. Ah, who comes here? Ah, giraffe. I will ask him. He has also spots like me. He will be knowing how to come. Hey, giraffe. You do what? You are just on my way. You have to give me away. Oh, Shara, I was just trying to tell you something. You know, we both have the same kind of coats. So what? Oh, I, I, I need a, a little help from you. What help? Oh, uh, will you be able to tell me how many spots do I have on my body? Spots? Yeah. Why do you have to count the spots on your body? Why? Uh, people count their fingernails. Uh, people count how many eyes they have, how many teeth they have. Uh, well, I can count my spots. Oh, I've got better words to do now. Just give me way. I have to move because I want to go and pick some grass. You mean to say you don't know how to count it? <laughs> That is stupid and silly. I better go and eat some leaves. I don't think this person is going to give me way at all. I think this guy also don't know how to count, so that he is just escaping from here. Oh, what shall I do? This forest is full of fools. Not one seems to know how to count. What do I do? That is a silly person. 
Instead of mm. just eating his food, he wants to count his silly spots on the body. So stupid! Oh. And just as the leopard was beginning to get very, very tired. I don't think I'll find anyone who can count the spots. Raksha Vishnu, and who do you I'm think I'm tired of the whole ship. Please come back to me. dog. What do you want now? Uh. Hmm. I see that you are very angry. Yes, I am. Oh, I don't see why you should get so angry. You know, this forest is full of fools. They can't count for anything. Oh. They don't know how to count even. Oh. I can count because my mommy taught me two three da ti, two four da eight, three three da nine, four three da twelve, five three da fifty, eight three da twenty four. Oh, so you oh, see, oh, I know oh. my tables. You know your tables, do yes, you? Yes, that's right. Oh, that means you know how to count. <laughs> oh, of course I know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that's brilliant. Hey, hey can you do me a favor? Yes, hey, hey, me. Um, can you uh, uh, count the spots on my body? Count the spots on your body? Yeah. But how do I get off to your body? Oh, just, uh, you are a good jumper, aren't you? You just jump over my body and just count it, that's it all. It is not jumping. When the rabbit goes hop, hop, hop. Okay, hop onto my back. Okay, now here you go. One, I just go one time and go hop, 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 hop. Ah. Hey, I just think. I got onto your body now. Ah, that's right. Okay, right. Ah, now. Okay, go ahead. Count fast. Ah, uh, let me finish my table counting because my mommy told me that I must <coughs> learn my table first. Okay. 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 I finish it. I was in two four da eight, two five da ten, two six da twelve, two seven da fourteen, two eight da fifteen, two nine da eighteen, two ten da twenty. Okay, now I am ready to count your spot. Okay, do it fast now. Okay. I got the answer, I got the answer, I got the oh, answer. Oh, 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 watch it. Ah, uh, let me get down, let me hop, and then okay. I tell you. Okay, okay. Okay, one, ah, oh, <coughs> okay, three, two, three. Okay, here is the answer. Oh, tell me, fast. You have only two spots on your body. What? Yeah. Only two spots? That's right, now don't get angry. You have one black spot and one white spot. Oh, that is brilliant. Ah. I have only two spots on my body, right? Right. One black and one white. Do you agree, children? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you see, uh, you have to go to the Anurag Montessori school to learn your counting. If you go to that school, because I went to that school, and that's where I learned. Oh, that is wonderful. <laughs> how, how did you like the children there? Ah, the children did not see me because I was standing outside the gate and nibbling some carrots. Oh, and I was... Do you think that uh, uh, I could go to Anura? Oh, you can go, but the children will get frightened of you. Oh, 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 I then uh, I'll go there maybe in the night. Ah, you can go there in the night, but don't tell the children that you're there, okay? Oh, okay. You can go quietly and you can learn two, three dances. Two four da eight, two five da ten, shape, color, diameter, everything. Okay. 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 That was a good rabbit anyway. Continue. But after two okay. days of roaming around in the forest, I came to know there are only two spots on my body. And so the leopard was very happy. And he went about singing. And it was when it was late in the night, he slept that day very well. He walked along the forest singing that day. So that was the end of the tale in the jungle. Did you all like the tale? Did you like it? Yeah. Say thank you, Auntie. Thank you. Ah, here I come again.
So here I am going to ask you, did you understand how many spots the leopard has on his body? Two. 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 How many spots? Two. 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 Do you all agree? Do you agree? Yeah. What is the shape of the spot? to come to this school. Alright? And you all like me, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You did not ask me my name. You asked me the name. What's your name? What's your name? I am Lammy the Lamb. Lammy the Lamb. Yeah. 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 Did anybody count? No. You count the animals. Two, three. Okay, who, which is the animal which came first? Who did it? Leopard. Leopard. Okay, okay, let's see what are the animals came. Leopard.
Thank you. 